Hi, I'm Fran. And I'm Liz. And we're part of the Enrich team based in Cambridge in the UK. Liz, I'd like to share a task with you that I think is intriguing. Here we've got a hundred square and I'm going to ask you to use some of the numbers to create a chain. So could you click on 30 and 2 and 20 and 40 and 8 and 64. Now, I'm going to ask those of you watching and Liz to think about why I might have picked those particular numbers. Pause the video briefly to do this, and if you're watching with other people, share your thinking with them too. Okay, so now you've had time to share what some of the things you've noticed so far, uh, I'm going to ask Liz to add one more number before I find out what she thinks might be going on. Liz, could you click 50 for me, please? Okay, so everyone, take a look at the chain now. Does this change what you thought before or perhaps clarify something for you? Press pause on the video while you have a think and rejoin us when you're ready to hear what Liz thinks. Welcome back. Um, I imagine that some of the things uh, that you've been thinking about are the kinds of things that are in my head too. So Fran, at first, when I looked at these numbers, um, I noticed that they were all even, um, and, that, and that's the same for 50 too. So I was a bit confused as to why 50 was blue, whereas all the other numbers were green when every single one of them was even. So I had to think again. Um, that, that made me go to the beginning of the chain, and I started to look along the numbers in the chain. At that Point, I noticed that 2 is a factor of 30 and when I went further along the train, chain, sorry, 8 is a factor of 40 so I wondered whether factors had got something to do with it but that doesn't quite work um, and the numbers uh, wouldn't vary so much um, if that was always the case but then I thought you know that the factors made me think of multiples as well and so I wondered oh well maybe the next number is a factor or a multiple. So let me just have a think about that. Um, two is a factor of 30, 20 is a multiple of two, 40 is a multiple of 20, eight is a factor of 40, 64 is a multiple of eight. Ah, yes, but because 50 isn't a factor or a multiple of 64, that's why it's blue and not green. Am I close? You've got it, Liz. Nice reasoning. And I'm sure lots of you watching will have had similar thoughts. So um, as we now know 50 doesn't fit our rule of every number has to be a factor or a multiple of the one before it, could you pop 50 back on the left hand side for us, Liz, and we'll add on some other numbers instead. So let's have um, 32 next. And after that, uh, four. And I want a factor or a multiple of four, so let's have 80. Hmm. Now, uh, I can't think of another number to go after 80 at the moment, um, but I have spotted, ah, that I could have included 10 in my chain. Liz, can you see where that might go? Oh, hmm. I wonder actually, Fran, whether 10 could go in several places. Um, I wonder whether you watching uh, would have to think about that as well. Could you find a place that 10 could go? Um, pause the video now uh, and we'll come back to think about that together. So Fran, I think there are quite a few places that the 10 can go in this chain. Um, for example, I might put it between the 30 and the two. I could put it between the two and the 20 or the 20 and the 40. Uh, actually, though, I could put it before the 30 or even after the 80. Oh, is that right? Lots of options. Great stuff, Liz. OK, you're quite right. As you've suggested, the, the, the 10 here or any number that you pick from the left can go at the beginning of the chain or in the middle or at the very end. So um, perhaps you'd like to put it in one of the middle bits of the chain that you were talking about. And as Liz does that, 
you'll see that when she drops it in, all the other numbers move up to make space for it, which is handy if you're using the interactivity on the website. So our challenge to you then is, what is the longest chain that you can make? In fact, there's also a game uh, that you can play, that you can find on the Enrich website, uh, along with this interactivity that we've been sharing with you. You'll find the rules of the game on the site uh, and the link is coming up next. However, you might just want to go and grab a pencil and a piece of paper and have a go right now.